In this video we're making a 16 pointed star for your window. So if you watched the last video already we made an 8 pointed star in the last video and now we're stepping it up a little bit and making a 16 pointed star. It's a little bit more complicated and a little bit more work involved but it'll pay off in the end. It'll be so worth it. So I'm starting off with a big sheet of tissue paper and I'm cutting it in half. This time we're going to need 16 rectangles and I'm folding it in half again, cutting it again. So now we have two and we're folding them in half and after cutting we have four big rectangles. And then we just need to cut it again and again and again until we have 16 in total. And now we're folding them again. And make sure to make it as even as possible so they're really all the same size. Mine might be a little bit wonky but I hope it's gonna work out in the end, in the end after all. Now we're cutting it again and then we have eight rectangles and after that we need to cut it one more time. Fold it and cut it one more time. And once more. And this is such a fun project to make with your kids for the Christmas time or any time during the year really. Why not have some stars on your window all year all year round? Okay, there we have it. 16 rectangles. Now we can start folding. So we're beginning by folding the rectangle in half pressing down the middle fold and then we're folding the outer corners towards the center fold here, the middle fold. All four corners. There are so many different designs for these stars. The eight folded star was, uh, the eight <laughs> pointed star was a little bit easier to do. This one takes a little bit more work and a little bit more folding. But there are so many other different designs where you can make little folds in the middle before you fold everything down so you have different patterns. But I'm just choosing to make the ones that I still remember from my childhood, the easiest ones really. But I think there are a lot of crafting books with lots more designs out there, if you're interested in having a look at that. So now I've folded down. After folding it down once, I'm folding it down twice towards the middle fold here. And then we have our first point for the star. All done. Let's do another one. Folding it in the middle. Making sure it's all even. As even as possible because then it's gonna look best in the end and fit all together. Especially the more pieces you have the harder it will be to get it all perfectly even if the pieces are not folded properly and are not cut in the same way. Now we'll fold all the corners towards the middle fold here and then we're going to fold them over again another time towards the middle fold And 
and the tissue paper is really really thin got to be really careful with it back in Germany we had a different tissue paper that was a lot sturdier and a lot, a lot thicker so I could just make a star and it would keep for ages I could just put it in a box at the end of the Christmas period the holiday period and could get it out the next year but I'm afraid once I put them on the windows with a sticky tape this year and I'm trying to get them off they're all gonna rip apart so I'm gonna do it all over again next year so now the other side and we're also going to fold down the other end again towards the middle seam here the middle fold seam we're not sewing today we are folding paper Teresa please remember that <laughs> Okay, and one more time, folding the corner towards the middle fold. And that's it, that's our second one. And let's repeat this another 14 times, shall we? Now that we're done folding all 16 pieces, we can start gluing them together and we have a look at both ends of the piece and they look a little bit different at the top and at the bottom. So we choose which side we always want to have at the bottom and which side we always want to have at the top and then we're going to glue them together so it's all even and the pattern within the fold is the same everywhere on all sides and makes a beautiful beautiful pattern once we have all 16 pieces glued together so I'm just gluing along one side here on the right hand side of the fold just about halfway up and then I can put the next piece on top of it and glue it down push it down press it down Have you made a similar project before? Are you going on 
are you going to make a few stars maybe do you still have time to make stars or are you maybe in the cookie baking mood at the moment in preparation for the holiday with all friends and family leave me a comment down below I'd love to hear from you And I'll just keep on doing that until we are nearly done. Now for the last one, we're just gluing it the same way we did it before, put it on top and then you can see that the first piece and the last piece are overlapping. So we're putting the glue on top and then we are just going to fold it under to finish the star. Doesn't it look lovely? It's going to look a lot nicer once we're holding it against the window and the light is shining through. So now we're putting the last piece underneath the first one and pressing it down and then our star is complete. Let's have a look at the window, what it looks like. And there it is, you can see the pattern, doesn't it look lovely? And we already made the red one in the last video. I'm going to link that down below so you can have a look at it as well. Let me know if you're going to plan on making some stars as well. I hope that you enjoyed this little project and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!